All right, guys, so I got a bunch of this painted up top right here. And um, right here, I knew there was a leak in the past and I didn't realize that there was a bunch of mold uh, behind here and underneath that the whole floor in the corner right there. So I have to take up these pieces of plywood, rebuild anything that has been rotted out and uh, reseal everything so it won't mold and put new plywood in. Yay! That means I gotta rip this thing out right here because the plywood runs underneath here and then pop out all these little screws and then lift out the plywood and then check out the integrity of the beams that run across make sure they're good to go and like I said replace anything that's bad and uh, clean up all of this and just do a quick rebuild shouldn't be too hard, it shouldn't be too long but uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt but that's okay I was hoping that it would just be an old leak that happened when, I, when it first started raining there was a little bit of water was coming in but I stopped it right away and I, when I cleaned up the outside of the camper here I uh, I fixed up any of the any of the leaks and um, but yeah moisture got in and caused some damage in the past so just is what it is you got to take care of it Okay, well I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this. I was prepared to, but I was hoping I wouldn't. But seeing as it was sagging right there, and once I opened it up and saw that mold, I'm not gonna be sleeping in here up around a bunch of mold. I'd rather just take, tear this out. It's been like, what, an hour or something. I'm just tearing everything out. And uh, just take the time to rebuild it. So it's strong, it's safe, and it's good to go. All right. All right guys, it is a new day and I am about to frame all this in. I'm gonna have to run to the store because I ran out of my sealer. Well, I'm just about out of it. So um, what I got going on here is I am sticking this piece in here. Got it sealed up. I got uh, behind here, I got some of this uh, contractor's glue. It's gonna help hold it into place. I'm also gonna run screws. But what this is gonna do is it's gonna thicken this up and support this as well. Some of this is a little bit cracked and then it's just kind of thin and I want this to be super sturdy and uh, very confident. So I'm very confident in its strength. So I'm going ahead and uh, tapping this in and about to screw that in and then build, let me show you. And then these main beams ran this way. I'm gonna run them this way off of these walls I put in here building out to that wall. What that will do is it will make it so I can sit on it and work that way and it will be strong and, and secure and just fine as well. And because that was one of the, that wall right there, um, it's gonna have a piece of wood on it like these do, but it has gotten some water damage. The wood isn't as strong as it used to be. So I really want my main support beams running this way anyways. I will have beams running to that as well. I'm gonna have it crossed and you'll see what I'm doing, but uh, that's where I'm at, so.
got it all <clears throat> put together, sealed up. All the little brackets on the side, screw going through, and uh, contractor's glue. Got the two by fours in the corner right there. And what that's for is if I want to put, drill into that and put um, mirrors on the side, on each side. Got that nice piece of wood, it's gonna look great. What's up guys, how's it going? Just out here using this little light to cut my cuts. I'm about to put this insulation in. Beautiful full moon out tonight. Just hanging out, uh, slowly chipping away at this. But uh, I'm about to put that insulation in, super stoked about that. Cause that means then I just gotta put my plywood in and I am basically done with that whole rebuild of the top bunk. Alright guys, so went with a five ply plywood on here. It's a lot thicker. I was gonna go with the three ply, but this is a lot thicker, a lot better. I'm attaching it right now, screwing everything in. Just gotta screw this piece down and we will be set. Hey guys, so here is kind of the completed uh, bed frame. All of the framing and the plywood is put together and attached and it's strong. I also coated it with a semi-gloss um, accent wall color that I'm using in here, paint. And that will just help seal it against any moisture or mildew that may uh, build up underneath the mattress, depending on the weather and conditions that I'm in. It came out looking really nice. I, of course, can need to make it look um, uh, nice in regards to sanding down this wood on the side and hitting it with a polyurethane and finishing up all this paint job going all the way around. I'm also doing some rebuild and patchwork on some of the thin wood that was damaged by moisture and uh, leak in the past in the corners there. So you guys will see this completed and beautiful and all nice on my other videos uh, when I get around to it because uh, I'm just going to call it quits on this video because I just wanted to document the rebuild. So that's the basic rebuild. It's done. It looks great. It's working great. I've been sleeping on it. It functions fine. It's strong. It's sturdy and it gives me a lot more confidence knowing that I'll be driving around traveling and be able to sleep in here just fine with no problems at all. As you can see in the layout on here, I got tons of space, tons of room. Let's see if I can get, see, I mean, look at, look at this. I'm 6'4", and I got tons of space here as a big guy, so it's really nice. Very sturdy, very strong, and um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, and keep watching because there is a whole bunch more amazing videos coming out. Mm -hmm. And then once this thing is done, I am hitting the road, and we are going on some adventures. So once again, please subscribe if you liked what you saw, and uh, comment, like, share, and uh, appreciate it. So talk to you guys later. Bye.